In my first few weeks of being on self-improvement, something bad was happening. Obviously, like any normal person on self-improvement, I was doing the good habits like reading, working out, meditating, but something bad was happening and I was completely ignoring it. I was slowly getting complacent. I was slowly getting less and less motivated. I was slacking off. I was getting complacent and I was just ignoring this. I was thinking, oh, it's not my fault that I'm less motivated. It just happens, like, not being motivated is an excuse not to do the hard thing. I said these things to myself and I thought they were true. And that really slowed my progress. And I was just getting more and more complacent until I realized something. And this is my first point. You can't expect to always be motivated. And you can't expect that because you're not always going to be motivated. No one's motivated all the time. People aren't successful because they're motivated all the time. No one is motivated all the time. And most of the time you aren't motivated. Most of the time you don't want to do the hard thing. Motivation is when you want to do the hard thing because of the reward you'll get for doing it. Like for example, when you just can't wait to go to the gym or when you don't stall when you're about to have a cold shower. When you're doing that, that's motivation. If you expect to always be motivated, you're never going to get anywhere in life. Not being motivated is not an excuse not to do the hard work. Because the excuse is literally the exact same as just saying, I'm not going to do it today because I don't feel like doing it today. So then, how do you make progress when you're not motivated? Let me continue my story from earlier. So I was slowly, slowly becoming more complacent. I was slacking off. I was losing my motivation and I thought it wasn't my fault. But then I realized that... I'm not going to be motivated all the time and I accepted that. So then I was thinking, okay, how do I make progress when I'm not motivated? For weeks, I just thought that you couldn't make progress when you're not motivated and that all the people around me that were making progress were just very lucky and that they were motivated all the time. I thought I wasn't making progress because I wasn't motivated, which wasn't my fault. I was completely wrong. Then one day, I was just scrolling on YouTube. I saw a Hamza video. I clicked on it because, well, it's Hamza. <laughs> And I watched through it, all the way to the end, to the very, very, very last second. Now, what was in the video, that doesn't matter. It isn't relevant. It's not to do with this topic. I can't even remember what it was. But it's his last few words that really made an impact on me, that really mattered. Those last few words were, do the hard work, especially when you don't feel like it. Obviously, I'd heard it a thousand times before, but it really just like gone in one ear, out the other. I'd never actually realized what it meant. I'd never actually thought about it until that time then. I realized at that moment that it meant to be disciplined. Do the hard thing, especially when you're not motivated to do it. I realized then if you want to make progress, then you have to be disciplined. Discipline is when you don't want to do the hard thing, but you do it anyway. It's when you don't feel like doing the hard work, but you do it anyway. That's how you make the most progress. Now let me address the clickbaity thumbnail, the text in it that said, motivation is bad. That is technically true. Now what I'm about to explain here, I've only just learned recently. So my explanation might have some holes in it, but bear with me and I think you'll get the gist of it. And this information has really revolutionized my life. And I think it can do the same to yours too. Now motivation is bad because it stops you from being disciplined. Now to understand this, you have to understand the fact that by doing hard things when you don't want to, you can become more disciplined, which means the hard things will become easier. Becoming more disciplined and being disciplined, that is vital for you to improve your life. Now, if you're motivated, you're not using your discipline. And if you're not using your discipline, you're not training your discipline. And if you're not training your discipline, then you're not going to become more disciplined, which means the hard things are still going to be hard when you're no longer motivated. Now, don't take what I just said at point blank. Obviously, motivation has its good sides too. You can get a lot of, lot of work done when you're motivated. You can make a lot of progress when you're motivated. Right now, I am motivated to record and make this video because one of my videos has just popped off and got like over a thousand views. So I'm motivated to record now. I I'm on a holiday with my family. I could have gone out to them with McDonald's and just enjoyed the McDonald's if I wanted to. But I stayed back and I recorded because I am motivated. The time now is 11.40. They're gonna be back any minute now. So I'm scared for my life that they're gonna come back and see me recording and it's gonna be very awkward. But I've been working since about 10 o'clock. I've been working for an hour and 40 straight. I haven't had a lapse in my judgment. So that's ironic, my family came home at the exact time that I was talking about them coming home. But my point is that if I wasn't motivated, this video would be out a day later because I, I wouldn't have recorded today. But on the contrary, when this motivation goes away, I'm going to find it very, very hard to get consistent because I'm going to be used to this motivation now. So let's recap. You can't always expect to be motivated. You need discipline, not motivation. Being motivated can be bad because you don't train your discipline. But motivation can also be good 
because you can get a lot of work done. Alright, if you enjoyed this video, I'm going to ask you to like, I'm going to ask you to subscribe, I'm going to ask you to comment on the video, and yeah, goodbye, and it's going to take me a while to get to the camera now, to do my...